I don't think that's doing any good. Can I just eat the candy? You pop one of the candies into your mouth, noticeably raising your triglyceride level. It's really interesting to hear the progression of John Rice Davies' narration. From the very beginning, you know, he's like, oh, hey, ha, da, 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 and he's all dramatic and stuff, and now he's just like, yeah, you, you pop some candy into your mouth. Aren't you fucking clever? All right, let's talk to the bush. Well. As you repeat the magic phrase you learned from the Lishi, the bushes on the west spring apart as if by magic. Oh, that's right. It is magic. Derp. Now, I, I always thought it was like Lishi, like it was supposed to be leaf, but apparently it's Leshy. I don't know. Oh, well, this looks familiar, and this is Grim. Hello, Mr. Hanged Man from the tree that I get a bonus for looking at. It's a dead body. Oh, dear. Artistically laid out for maximum shock effect. Actually, it just happened to fall in that position, but please don't tell anyone. <laughs> All right, let's go check it out. And, oh, do we remember? Oh, look, the one gem and a skull. Does anybody remember this little fellow from Quest for Glory 1? Go back or face thy doom. Thy doom. Hey, hey, wait a second. Don't I know you from somewhere? Yeah, yeah, you're the guy that turned Baba Yaga into a frog. As far as I know, this guy is the basis for Mafia Frog's voice. I love him so much. For the main course. <laughs> oh, Bonehead, how I did miss you. Let's see if, um... Yeah, I think calling this Death Wish should be, uh... Should be, should be pretty apropos. Let's see if our bonus of knowing Bonehead the Doorman will just, you know, let us let us slide, man. Let us slide. I wouldn't do that if I was you. But Bonehead, come on, man. We're buddies. What could possibly go... Do you see I'm fine? <laughs> Don't say I didn't warn you, buddy. Well, at least you call me buddy. All right, so the other skulls aren't going to let me pass. So it's not Bonehead that's the problem. It's these other motherfuckers. Well, let's see how he's been doing. Hello, Skull! Yeah, 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 good to see me again, I know. So, what do you want? Well, thanks. Alright, well, so we already bore the trees and the foliage with our exploits. Let's go ahead and bore a skull. Where, what else is he gonna do? <laughs> bore a skull. Don't remind me. I thought I was gonna be left behind when the hut flew the coop, but Baba Yaga picked me up later. Who sure made her mad? Why am I here again? I'm gonna get myself killed. Let's see if he's a thief. You wriggle into the thief sign position. Probably not. Oh, so Baba Yaga already took care of you. <laughs> oh, looks pretty bad. You better get that fixed if you can. Hmm. Everyone just thinks I'm an idiot when I do the thief sign. I don't think it works on anybody. Well, let's see what he's been up to. Uh, let's see. School! Call me Bonehead. I'm just hanging around like always. What are you attached to that thing with exactly, Bonehead? Baba Yaga! She's back to her old self, if you know what I mean. Other than a craving occasionally for flies and a distaste for frog legs, she's the same as ever. Hmm, so it doesn't look like things have much changed except for the locale. Oh, uh, danger! Danger? Around here? Nah, must be your paranoia acting up again. This place is as cozy and safe as a coffin. As morbid as the... Allegory may be, coffins are pretty much the safest place you can be. You're buried six feet underground, surrounded by dirt. What's going to get at you besides bugs and possibly zombies? Hut! You can see for yourself that the hut's okay. Took it a bit to settle down from the last flight, though. I can't imagine a hut getting agitated. Rhyme! You mean the hut of brown now sit down sort of thing the last time you was by? Well, that don't work anymore. Just go up to the hut and it'll squat and let you in if it wants you in. Hmm, lazy coding, lazy writing, or clever, not sure. Oi! My eye? Not bad, not bad at all. I have to admit, you gave me a real gem. Alright, I'm not really getting any ideas of how I'm supposed to get past him, or make the other ones happy. Great skull. Can I talk to the other skulls? Talk some sense into them? Yeah, those other skulls don't have much to say, do they? No, I guess not. I guess he had no eyes, no voice. Hmm. Let's see, a puzzler. The nearest skull is fixed in a perpetually sour expression. One eye socket is empty, the other filled with a brilliant gem. 
like the flare of the frost flame. Hmm, that's a really obvious I'm reference. Sure, you've seen this skull and that gem somewhere before. Hmm, could be. That would probably make more sense before I talked to him and learned everything. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else I can talk to him about? She's no, not really. Well, goodbye, I guess. See you around. Uh. Okay, well, I guess we'll come back here when we have a reason, but at least now we know we can get in. Now, let's go back to town and get some goddamn food. I'm hungry. Thieving around is hungry work. Don't come back unless you got a reason to be here. You think it'd be healthy for someone to talk to? What else is he gonna do? Just, you can't talk to the other skulls. I wonder what he does when we just sort of turn his back on him. He's going back there, like, singing a little song to himself. It's like, there are three blind mice. Three blind... I don't think that's a really good song for a skull. Uh... Three skulls in a fountain, each one seeking happiness and stuff, yeah. Got me an eye. I do love Bonehead. Alright, well, barring anything better to do, let's go ahead and head back to town. And see what's going on there. Get ourselves some food, store up on supplies. And then, uh, and then off we go, pretty much. I think we just kind of wander around at night time. We're still on a mission. Hello. Oh, God, the leshy. Alright, fine. Do you have any more hints for me, boy? Goodbye! Ugh. <laughs> One and two and three make six. Who hides her hut behind trick sticks? I'm not sure if we answered this one or not, but uh, it's Baba Yaga. We know that. Would that be Baba Yaga in a chicken leg hut? Well, I got points for it, so apparently I haven't done it before. Baby, that's the one. An ogress who is loads of fun. Hey, don't, don't improvise. Stick to the script, Leshy. Guessing answers without knowing? Check your guesses first by going. I did. I went past the bush like you told me. And you're going to accuse me of cheating? Fuck you, Leshy. I don't need to prove myself to you, you lanky and alternately short and stout little creature. I have no idea where I am. Oh, okay. So here's... Here's the crypt song. I'm not... You're stuck. Yes, I fucking know. Nibbling on corn has no effect on my health and well-being whatsoever. Um, is the town this way? I thought it was to the east of the town, but I, I've been wrong before. It's been known to happen. All right. Let's go up and over and see what happens. All the good stuff in this game happens at nighttime. Yay, okay, finally. I can't believe I'm actually right. And even though we got Igor and, uh, no, it's, uh, Boris and, um, oh, I cannot remember the shopkeeper's name, uh, Olga, back together, I don't think we ever see him back at the store. We just kind of imply that everything is groovy again. Alright, let's go stop by the inn, speaking of which, and stock up on some food, and then we'll talk to Olga, and what? Still you remain. It is a wonder you have managed to live so long. I'm, yeah, I'm a little bit better suited to the outdoors than you are, fat boy. I bet you a, a million bucks if I wander back again, and there you are, you're gonna say it again, and he's gone. Okay, thanks for immediately negating my making fun. Let's go through the inn sphincter here and buy some more sandwiches. I used up my last bit of avocado on the Antwerps. Cats! Ah, well now, what news do you have for me? Well, ah, what the heck, let's go and fill her in. That's the uh, adventures. There was this bush, and a bush who turned into guy, and there's this garden with stuff. Tell Olga about what you've been doing in Moldavia. And be sure and keep me informed. I need to know everything that goes on around here. Someone's got to have a clue after all. I keep the clue in my oh, never mind. Okay, well, let's buy some equipment. Uh, let's see. Garlic, I think we've already got. We need some trail rations for show. We got plenty. So let's buy some of them. Okay. There we go. That should be fine. And let me buy some more candy because I think I ate it. That's it. Uh, goodbye. You take care. Don't want to see your funeral. <laughs> Go ahead, that walk to the cemetery. Ugh. Just when I thought I had, like, a, a true friend in town. It's like, gosh, oh, please don't die. I would hate to have to walk to your funeral. Come back again, sunshine or rain. Oh, God, I thought you were on my side, babe. All right, well, whatever. Instead of eating my rations, let's go to the inn and get ourselves served. And maybe we can take a little bit of a nap, too. And let's rest till nighttime. That's when all the interesting stuff happens, right? And everybody's gone. All right, well, 
straighten up. Okay. And it still looks like he's a midget standing on that stool. That never ceases to amuse me. It's a typical country breakfast. Fried beets and sausage with garlic for a garlic. Fried beets? Oh, that sounds kind of good, as a matter of fact. All right, so now I'm well fed. I think we really have to do make good on my uh, I Quest for Glory cooking show. I'm going to make fried beets. I'm going to make avocado and garlic sandwiches. What's in this cupboard? You start to reach into the cabinet, then realize that you're being watched and decide against it. Really? All right, well, maybe uh, something might be worth looking in there during the night time. I also feel kind of bad because it's apparently early morning, and I'm just going to bed to sleep until nighttime like a nocturnal asshole. But I need it. I mean, look at my stats. I'm tired. I'm almost dead. Let's sleep until the evening. After which I don't think I can do. Why don't you just stay in bed, Sneaks? You're gonna keep climbing out and climbing back in, aren't you? This is gonna look really funny in fast motion. Let's go stop by Dr. Cranium's. Let's go claw out the window if we can. And we'll get some more of those health don't. potions. Now, it's not gonna let me. Because I think he gives us another potion every day. And the townspeople still aren't back. I wonder where they are. Maybe there actually are elephant herders. And I swear to God, if I ever get a house, I'm decorating with braids of garlic. As much as uh, Maven would probably dislike that. You've never seen so many locks and bars on... It is very dangerous. Yeah, if you oh, so it is evening. Okay, uh, it's weird. I, I slept for like three hours and they served me a breakfast. I, I complete... And it's light out! What time is it, game? It's barely evening. Alright, I guess that's a pretty good time. Let me see if Dr. Cranium is still available and we can get our stock of potions and then we can go out adventuring as we should. This again. I thought it was gonna start busting into some merry headed little lamb for a second. I wish I got a pointer every time I saw that little bell puzzle. Apparently, if you keep checking in on Dr. Cranium, he makes uh, more and more progress on his experiment. Scientific experiment. I have managed to harness the very primal force of lightning at my back and call. Now I shall use it to create life itself. Watch this. Okay, do it. Go for it. Oh, you missed, bro. You missed. Hmm, that was not quite the experimental result I expected. Uh, but never mind that. It is merely a momentary setback in the annals of science. Science! I shall readjust the magnetic electrical stimulation system and try again another day. Hmm. Interesting he didn't say that second paragraph. I was reading ahead and it was an acronym for MESS, which I thought was kind of funny, but I wonder, wonder, wonder why they skipped it. Well, whatever. Hello! Well, oh, not goodbye. I went to say hello. That'll confuse him. Hello. <laughs> say hello. It is good to see you again. I trust the Antwerps gave you no trouble. Finally, someone's given me a little bit of respect. Thank you, Dr. Cranium. All right, so let's get, uh, oh gosh, I can talk about all kinds of new stuff here. Let's talk about um, Antwerps. Antwerps are truly fascinating species. They reproduce by splitting into a number of tiny Antwerps, each with their own genetic code. They cannot split voluntarily, however. They only reproduce when cut or stabbed. My test Antwerps came from Spielberg Valley, where there was an Antwerp population explosion last spring. That should be a reference to our exploits in Quest for Glory 1, but you didn't have to kill the Antwerp that was there, because if you kill it, like, it jumps up and then it lands on your blade and you like a, a Zelda 2 upward thrust into its ass, and it splits into like a million little tiny Antwerps, and, but you didn't have to do that, but, uh, you know, it could just be happenstance, whatevs. LIGHTNING! I have come to the conclusion that lightning is electrical in nature, which would put it in the realm of fire. Science is great. Fortunately, there have been an increasing number of storms here lately, so I have been able to harness some of the lightning and store it for experimental use. You just store that lightning in a bottle, don't you? Uh, oh, no, he's getting sleepy. Wake up, life force! I am convinced that the primal force of life is electrical in nature. Of course, it must also involve water for life, and pizza, without which life would be boring. 
Oh, and there he goes. He fell completely to sleep. Good night, Dr. Cranium. And a field of lightning bolts sing thee to thy old man! My neighbor Nikolai is not actually as old as he now appears. He has been very unhappy since his wife's disappearance some 15 years ago. 15 years ago? Then his disappointment, she never brought me back the berries I needed for an experiment. Oh. So that might give us a hint about what happened to Anna. 15 years that poor guy's been searching for his wife in that same, like, 12 foot square radius. It, that poor son of a bitch. All right, let's, um, let's see, I forget what I do to get my potions from him. Start with science. Stamina potions? No, there's no such thing. Healing potions I can get. Here you are, one freshly brewed healing drink. Right on. Uh, let's see. Can I get another empty flask for me there, bro? Flask! You ask Dr. Cranium if he can spare an empty flask for specimen collection. Of course, of course! Of course, of course! I love the way he says that. Um, okay. I think that should be doing pretty well. Got myself a flask. Uh, alright. Let's bid Dr. Cranium adieu. You say- Oh, it is always a pleasure to have one such as you visit. Ah. Uh. It's so good to be appreciated in this town by somebody. Perhaps I should wait a day or two before resuming my Frankie experiment. It is very important that the right person stay in charge here. You're the only person here. And I have a theory. For those who have played Quest for Glory 5, there's a, a character named Gort, who is a very kind of Frankenstein-y area, and I think that is the character that Dr. Cranium finally was able to create. Just a theory. Can't prove it. Not really gonna try. Alright, so finally, the sun is going down. Everything's looking good. Let's stop by the, uh, oh, no, everybody's gone. Now oh, whatever. Alright, well, let's stop by Arana's garden. We'll pick up some more of that magic fruit and see if that'll heal us. Actually, no, we don't have to worry about healing. We have a healing potion. That's poison cure. Healing potion. I got three of them, so let's pop one of these pills. That feels good. Well, it didn't quite get me all the way, but then again, I am Sneaky Feet Mighty Thieves, so I have a lot of health. I think, um, I think we'll be alright. So let's go out adventuring. See what there is to see. Um, now there's a lot we can do. We can kill more wraiths. Um, we still have to find out what's going on with the Rizalka, but first and foremost, I am really curious about that castle. I want to get in there so bad. And I'm also curious about the graveyard, and I think those two might be linked. Just saying. Because I know we can't get in through the front gate, because if we go up here during the night time... Check this out. Oh, well, he's still here. Don't go home! Welcome again to the gates of the Castle Borgov. I hope that you've been enjoying your visit to Mordavia. It's been rather pleasant, yes. Well, I mean, I uh, as I don't really need to be here, but I feel bad. I'm just going to say goodbye. Just, like, Bye! Be careful in your travels. You never know what you may meet. Thank you for that cryptic threat. Goodbye. Good luck. God damn it, I already and said goodbye. May your feet move faster than the thing that chases you. Uh-huh. Thanks. You're a buddy. Okay. So let's head on down to the graveyard and see if we can't get ourselves into some action here. I also may need to grind my lockpicking skills, because I think those in this game are severely lacking. Is this the way? I get so lost. No, this is not the way. But I know the way from here. And hopefully all this sneaking around will build up my st Oh. Oh, batters! Batter up! Alright. Magic use up. Special attack, sure. Aggressiveness, whatever. No, magic is useless. So is my special attack, honestly. Oh yeah, look at him go. Oh great, I'm fucking poisoned. Great, he's gonna attack right off the screen. Sneaky feet, what are you doing back there, you idiot? Sneaky! You're getting yourself killed, you idiot. Alright, back off, back off, back off. Special attack, no. Defense up, move back. You're not attacking anything, you idiot! Back up! You're just... Ugh, oh, aggressiveness down, defensive up, back up, back, 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 there you go. Okay, that should be a good balance. There we go, wait for them. Now you got it. Wait for them, and wait for the opportune moment, and swing, bada, 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 batter up!
eat knife and flame and blue flame. They were really heavy into gay rights and nighttime. A little bit late on the swing there. That would have been a foul ball when he connected. Goodbye.